everybody. Our clamming trip the other day was so successful they had plenty of clams for making chowder and I'm also going to make some clam fritters or you may know them as clam cakes depending on where you're from. They're light and they're crispy and they're full of clam flavor and some sweet corn and everybody is going to love them. So let's get started. Now fritters are one of those things that I never do the same way twice. Uh, there's a couple of steps that I do do the same and then I just get kind of loose after that and, But I will always begin Using Flour of course and for each cup of flour I use I'm using two here So for each cup of flour I use I'll use one teaspoon of baking powder two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and for each cup of flour, one egg. So there's one and two. Of course, nice pinch of salt. And now from there is where I change things up a lot. So I'm of course going to add my clams. These are the really fine minced uh, clam necks. And I've got about a cup and a half of those. So I want a lot of clam in here. Stir that around in there. And now the liquid I use, I could use milk right here, but I'm gonna use, I got about a half a cup of that clam juice left. cleaning those clams. I'll whip that in there and I'm going to use a nice light bodied beer. You could use milk, you can use club soda, you can use just plain water. It's very easy to do. Now I wanted that fresh corn in there this time so that's that one ear of fresh corn kernels. And I got about a quarter cup of finely sliced green onions or chives for some nice color. Black pepper. Throw a fistful of old bay in here would be real nice. There, I get that all stirred together, and then I'm gonna add the beer until it gets to the consistency that I'm looking for. much thicker than pancake batter, thinner than biscuit dough. I mean, wanted to get a nice scoop and have it plop down into the oil and stay together. That looks pretty good to me. So, whatever you call that thickness is right about where I want it. And uh, this one, you don't have to be perfect at this at all. This is a real easy loose recipe you can do what you like we'll taste that a little for seasoning though it's pretty good on the salt i think i'll add some little pinch of cayenne just to pick that up a bit so i'm just getting ready to deep fry my fritters and i want this to be between 325 and 350 no hotter because these are kind of dense and you want them to cook all the way through so, you know, I was doing a, oh my God here. Yeah, I'm right in the ballpark there, 335. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. You just get a scoop and you don't want a really huge one. It's like an eighth of a cup, you know, it's a couple of tablespoons, not really a golf ball. And then you can just plop it in there. That works out pretty good or you can do this sort of quenelle thing with your spoons and roll that in there like so. Let's just get a couple tablespoons and you just kind of work it a couple of times into a little football shape and then roll that right in. The most important thing is that you don't make them too big because 
They'll just burn on the outside before they're done in the middle. And nobody likes that. You just want to get them in there and don't crowd your pan. Looks like I can get in about seven or eight of these before. You, know, you don't want them touching each other much or they're going to stick and not get brown on that spot where they stick. Those seem like they're frying up just about right. I'll give those about two minutes, roll them over, give them about two more, and then we'll just see how the color is. Oh, we're getting real close now. They feel nice and light and airy. You can even kind of, got a hollow sound when I hit them. That lets me know that they're going to be done all the way through. I just want to get the right level of crunch now. Those come right out. And we'll put them on a nice wire rack to drain and cool down. If you want to hit them with a little more salt or some Old Bay or whatever your favorite seasoning is, right now is the time to do it. It'll stick on there a little better. But I think these are seasoned just about right for me, so I'm going to let them stand as they are. We'll get that oil reheated up and throw in the next batch. Now let's see how we did. Now, this should be nice and light and fluffy and done all the way through. We'll break them open, should be no dough in it, should be nice air pockets all through the middle. And that looks just perfect. You can see clam pieces in there, the green onion. Oh boy, let's give this a try. Woo! I tell you, those are Neptune's donuts right there. They're really good. The sweetness of the corn and the clam just go together perfectly. So get yourself a nice aioli, maybe something spicy, or whatever dip you like, or just alongside your bowl of chowder. And go to town on these babies. Mm -mm. Well, I really hope you try this, and I really hope you love it. And if you do, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.